the worst movies in our opinion. And the worst of friends. In our opinion. No, based <laughs> upon my neighbor's opinion. <laughs> we are awesome. <laughs> When you're uh, the best of amigos. When you're the best of amigos. You go everything together. You're palling around in a backyard. <laughs> trying not to get shot. One of them has a knife, the other has a gun. You're the you best of friends. <laughs> when you're the best of friends. And that's our new intro. Yeah, that's right. our new intro for every single episode. I see Disney taking us to court. Disney will take us to court, take take us to court anyways. The toe for each <laughs> other. This won't be the first time Disney's taking us to court. That's true. No, <laughs> it's just it's off just enough because it's not exactly right. It's off just enough. We're we're oh, doing it. <laughs> we're doing when it you for want to go home, purposes. You don't be in the field. All right. Um. Well, Matt, did you have questioning? Yeah. Yeah. We enjoyed our movie that. reviews so much that we're going to do it again. Going around again. Cha-cha. Real slow. Cha-cha now. good. <laughs> Bring it up now. Who wants Who wants to start? Because, I mean, I, I have super big time hatred towards one movie. Um, Once again, read, everyone. So do I. Welcome everybody back to we're not doing we're gonna do a movie reviews. We're having a great time doing that. We're doing such a good time all together. So this episode is brought to you by Anticipation, please, everyone. Oh, oh we're anticipating for We're anticipating for different reasons over here. It stalled for a sec. We're like I was about to hit the table. That's my drums, by the way. All right, yeah, thank you. Uh this episode is brought to you by Change. When the winds of change blow hard enough, the most trivial of things can turn into deadly projectiles. Change. Well, that's true. They also for Obama. Also pee, <laughs> pee in the wind. Uh, this whole we're probably going to record all today. Just it's all going to be changed. So <laughs> there's a lot of them. <laughs> Has anybody peed in the wind and it's hit you? I have. No. I have. No, yeah, no, I've been smarter than that, man. I have peed uphill, though. No, the and that was like a oh no. I would say oh, it, was, <laughs> it was when I was a little kid. I remember it, and I was I think I was on a Cub Scout uh, camping trip, and that was and when you I wet started your pants in the wind. Yeah, I learned I learned all sorts of things about urine at that time. I bet, I bet <laughs> you. Yeah, did. How about peeing on an electric fence? Well, no, yes, I've done that. <laughs> uh, you, also. Buddy. I'll also say uh, one thing that we tried is we had these really cool bottles of root beer that one of our leaders had brought. And after we all drank it, we thought, hey, wouldn't it be a great hey. idea if we all peed in this bottle, capped it, and put it in the fire? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. And that thing pressurized and exploded, shot glass oh, everywhere, oh, oh, oh. and oh, the no. smell of like boiled pee. Pee. <laughs> Over our whole campsite. <laughs> oh, that's so wrong. That's that's how uh, that's how scouts claim their territory. Uh, <laughs> and, you probably, and you probably had a bunch of stuff smelling you from oh, miles I just, away. I just remember one of our leaders was like, this is our "Hey, area. what do you guys got in there?" Boom! <laughs> <laughs> just the water. Yeah. Apple juice. Um, uh, all right, so uh, so uh, Jakers has been on our case ever since we hit end on the last episode about his least favorite. Oh my gosh, no, uh, I have not. I think there's not been a minute that has gone by that he's not. I'm just chomping at the bit. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you all right if we start there? Or you want to uh, you want to hold on, hold on to it a little longer? Oh, I can hold this rage for the rest of my life, so it's fine. Let's hold it, <laughs> hold it steady. All right. His right. favorite movie, Jakers? Go. Uh, the Road. The what? The, the, the road. What? The road. The Road? The Road. So, I for some context, um, I was stuck in Iraq on a tour. And um, when I went on we, tour, we went to Disneyland. Uh, <laughs> when, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I'm, I'm taking away. I'm taking away. We got to let him get through us. Oh. Come on. The Road. Bad, bad review. Uh, so 
what it was, was, uh, so we were stuck out in the middle of nowhere and all of us started hurting for our extra time. And we were trying to, you know, find movies, things like that. This was way back when uh, internet connections, things like that weren't the best and stuff. So you randomly, when you could, you were able to go, uh, to the PX, you know, the, the exchange and find whatever random videos they got into the country that week. Or sometimes there was some local nationals at a market when you could go to the market and you'd find like bootleg movies of things. Well, so this was a time when I started just watching weird random films because that's what was available, you know? And I got The Road. Uh, and it's from uh, 2017. No, 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 2009. 2009, yeah. And uh, October 8th, 2009. Which is crazy when, when you were saying things like you were in your last year of high school. <laughs> I'm freaking sitting in the middle of the desert. I was uh-huh. in Minnesota. Watching the road. Um, so, what? It, because it sounded like it was going to be cool. It was during my phase where I'm like, post apocalyptic films are really neat, you know? Well, that's yeah. what it is. Follow. It's a film that basically follows right after the end of the world. Like, Fallout has happened and people are separated, stuff like that. And the. The plot, if I'm to tell you the plot, you'd probably think that it sounds like kind of a neat film. Like I thought when I read the back of the you know thing and I'm like, okay, this sounds good. It follows a father and his son uh, as they just walk through a uh, post-apocalyptic world. Now, by the way, the way that I thought about this, and I don't know if they linked together or when the time frame was of this was, but there's an anime called Kino's Journey. And Kino's journey is an amazing anime because it basically follows this person, Kino, and it's talking motorcade bike <laughs> that um, just goes to different nations and every single nation has something new about it. Well, that's how I always felt about post-apocalyptic stuff because I love Fallout, the Fallout games, stuff like that. And I was like, okay, this will be cool. He's going to different locales and you're going to find something new in each locale. Some craziness is going to happen. People are going to die. Uh-uh, F that. F that. That is a pile of garbage crap. Um, it starts off, and I'm going to give it a little bit, just so you understand how much of a pile of crap this movie is. Starts out with them in their own little house on a hill, and they're like, uh, they, they have resources, things like that. And then, and then the mom's just like, I'm going to go. And he's like, no, don't go. And she's like, yep, I'm going to go. And she just get up, and she walks out the door in the middle of the night, and that's it. That's how the film pretty much starts. No, nope. wow. and it was that bland. She's just like, oh, it's, uh, it's time for me to go. And he's like, no, don't go. It's time for me to go. I'm leaving. Bye. And then because she just can't stay there anymore. I don't know what she wanted to do. You know, want to go find the local, you know, bandits. And uh, I want to say horrible words, but lady of the night herself out to them. I don't know. You know, but like, that's about it. And then the dad's like, oh, no, well, it's just me and you, kiddo, because your mom sucks. Um, let's go find more stuff. What? And then they head out on the road, man. And, and, and he's got a gun. And, and no, he's not some. He's an average dude. He's below average. Oh, he's, he's, Aragorn, he's a below too, average. So. It's a classic coming of age film. Oh my god! <laughs> and like, could it disagree? And it's so boring. It drags every scene out like three times longer than the scene has to be. Like while you're watching it, you're just like, "Come on, are you ready? Like, what are you doing, man?" And uh, they find this bunker at one point, and the bunker is completely full of food. And they are 100% self-sufficient in it. It was abandoned. And then they're like, well, we have to leave the bunker. What? What? (laughs) Like, the whole point was them to go find more safety and find more food. They found that. And they're like, well, let's go. What? No explanation. Dad is just like mom in the beginning of the film. Yes, it's time to go. In the the, uh, description, (laughs) it says they're trying to make their way to the sea. Yeah, for no reason. So no reason, no reason given ever. Um, and then it, uh, and then they get to this town, they get into a shootout because that's what you do in post-apocalyptic, right? Got Dad it. gets shot. Um, 
but it's totally drab about him getting shot. It, it doesn't even really like follow that plot very well. And then they make it out to the ocean and they're sitting on the beach. And then a family comes up and he's basically dead now on the beach. And the family finds the kid and they're like, oh yeah, I guess, um, I guess come with us. I guess we could use another slave. And it's like that. And yeah, and you can totally tell they're just like, I don't know. I mean, life sucks. And then the film's over. (laughs) I don't know. I watched the trailer for it and I, I think I would enjoy watching it. Yeah. Well, that's what I thought. Until I watched it and wasted two hours right. of my life. I it's think it's one time. It's like two. Oh my gosh. I think it's like two and a half. What that's is this a, one time? What would be your rating on that? that that's your worst. 100 minutes. Two hours. Yeah. 159. One hour, 59 minutes. Run so. Hey, what are you saying? So let's put this in a little bit of perspective for a second. Um, IMDb gives it 7.2 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes, 74%. And mm-hmm. um, Metacritic, 64%. 87% of Google users like this movie. And so it's really, it's, what? It, it's struck you this hard. So it is, it is a pile of crap. Like it, it follows no cohesive line. Mm-hmm. The, the dialogue sucks. Um, it is not logical in the least of what somebody would do unless you're an idiot. If, uh, unless you're a dullard, I guess an average American. I don't know. That was horrible. It does have. We should believe uh, that out. But like, <laughs> read H of it. Have you guys seen if this? You're, if you're an uneducated idiot and and then you're stuck in this situation with your kid, which I guess most people who just breed to breed, I guess you know maybe they're stuck <laughs> in this situation. I don't know. But he was so. A, oh. It's it's so for how highly rated it is, my least favorite movie is higher rated than that. So I get it. I get wow. having a passionate hate towards movies like this. Oh, it's, and maybe it was because it was like I just wasted good money. I'm stuck, and my time was precious, you know, because you know, it was my own downtime between missions and stuff like that. That like maybe that's what really just hit me so hard about it because. Every time there was something that went on and it was so drab and poor, I was like, okay, maybe it'll get better. You know, so I pushed myself. Like where I would walk out of a movie, I kept pushing myself to continue this film. And I pushed myself all the way to the end. Like, okay, maybe there's a payoff. Maybe there's a payoff. This kid's going to do some. They're going to, he's at least going to find a community. I know the kid's going to be okay. No, no payoff. There's no payoff in this film. <laughs> None. Hey, and but it has big awards. It doesn't even end. The shining star. It doesn't even darkest, end worse three. than it begins. It ends exactly how it begins. A shining, There's nothing. A no story. Star. No story was told. In fact, all the logical things about the story were thrown to the wind. Stay in the freaking bunker. <laughs> like, anyways. All right, I'm done. A shining star in the darkness. Read Viggo Mortensen starts <laughs> in that uh, as. Man is his title. Oh my gosh! And, and his acting sucks. His uh, his title is Man, and Son is the other actor, the other main actor. I got and boy. Woman. Woman. Don't forget woman. I woman. got boy in mind. Oh yeah, boy. <laughs> um, uh, H, you said uh, you've got uh, at least. Oh, so uh, Jakers, what would All right, you? Hold on. What would you rate that? Okay, go ahead. Zero. Okay. Okay. Does any has in anybody fact, else watched it? I might. If all of you guys agree to watch it, I'd watch it again just to relive my hatred. Like that's about <laughs> it. Like I don't know if I can waste two hours like that, that on so such I can a viscerally movie. feel so I can viscerally feel in myself again how much I hate that I wasted two hours of my life. So you could feel vindicated that other people hate it as much as you do. Yeah, except for you're you gonna go. show us and be like, "Yeah, it's pretty good. It's all right." Like not like a great. But movie, if you but if you well, felt that way, then I I would need because even the reviews I'm reading on people. They don't actually, none of them are discussing the film. They're just like, wow, they treat it like it's a Sundance film. Like they're like, oh, they just watched crap. interpretive dance the whole time. That's what, it, that's what it feels like. These ones, these people are watching like interpretive uh, movie. <laughs> like I, anyways. All right. So uh, I, what I would say on uh, with this is it seems like it was lazy man put together film. And here's why I think that is because they didn't even give the characters names. It's just, Man, boy, like if you go down the cast, man, boy, old man. And these are like 
the title their characters. titles. Like, yeah. <laughs> Veteran, motherly woman, thief, gang member, woman, bearded man, archer's woman. That's Archer. well, okay. Oh my gosh, hold in, on. Their, in their defense, in their defense, if they made D five questing into a movie, that's basically what ours would look like too. I just realized though, I'm reading this. Apparently, there's a book. Ooh, oh, adaptation. Oh. So it is. It's an adaptation. Apparently, stricken book, from the record doesn't count. Apparently, the book makes sense. It doesn't <laughs> matter. You know, it sucks worse than the book. Then, <laughs> um, H. No, uh, do we want to do all the worst ones or are we going to do uh, best with the worst? Let's, well, let's do all the worst ones. Okay. Worst yeah, ones. I'm, 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 I've got a lot to filter stuff. through for my best ones. But my worst ones, there have been several movies where I have decided that I absolutely hate them and felt like that. It was a waste of time, a waste of my time. I bet I'm never going to get back for watching. Uh, the first one I mentioned at the end of last week's episode Space Odyssey 2000, absolutely garbage movie. But there is one that is even more garbage to me, which is okay. Interstellar. <laughs> <laughs> Interstellar. Never because it takes it. that Space Odyssey 2000 turn right at the very end. That is so stupid. And my biggest thing that I hated about this movie is that everybody else that watched it, which let me go through the ratings, IMDb 8.6, Rotten Tomatoes 72, Medna, Metacritic 74. 94% of Google users love this movie. And a lot of them will tell you, oh, the science is so on in this movie. It's so blurry. It's so awesome. And I'm like, well, no, absolutely not. Like, you don't even know any. Like, have you ever been around a wormhole? Do you even know what that would do? Like, that's not, you can't claim this is scientifically accurate. <laughs> they freaking launched a huge thing off of the earth with the entire population of the world into space towards some planet they don't even know where they're going to. And then you find I out can't. the whole thing is just one massive time loop that is just completely implausible and ridiculously stupid. Ugh. I'm my own grandpa. Yeah, exactly. Yep. That is the crappiest, most... Mm, that movie pissed me off so much. I didn't because, realize it did that. Yeah, I've it's so it. bad. It, 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 well, don't, I don't recommend watching it, but go ahead <laughs> at your own risk because hey, it's, so many people loved it. And, you can't go wrong. No, it's like it's you took you took okay Inception. Inception's a great movie. The, like like theatrically, debatable, it's, it's, debatable, it's an, exactly. But theatrically, it's a great movie. The score is incredible. You take Inception. And then you just throw it against the wall by combining it with Space Odyssey 2000. <laughs> and that's what you got. You got a, just a crap shoot of a movie. Throw that, it against the wall like a glass vial. That so my, got my a zero um, on my list. My <laughs> um, like actually... <laughs> I got you. I get it. <laughs> my um actually of what you keep saying is uh, 2001 of Space Odyssey. Whatever. Uh, it's crappy <laughs> enough. I don't need to remember just, the name. Um, hey, hey Torvo! Hey Torvo! Torvo! This is me touching my nose. Yeah. Oh. 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 That's all turned out to one Space Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know it. Uh, your movie too has a shining star, uh, Anne Hathaway. Shining star. I also yeah. hate her too. Actually, I'm not a huge <laughs> Anne Hathaway fan. Right. Like, I, she bugs the crap out of me in movies. If we're going to go favorite movies, this is one thing I want to interject. If we're going to go favorite movies, it, you got we got to pick a genre. That's true. Movie. That's, that's true. true. I think yeah. that would help. I think that would help. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we'll, we'll start thinking about that. But I think we're okay. doing least favorite this yeah. episode. Here's, here's oh, my thing about I just Anne wanted Hathaway, to throw though. that out there. Okay. Here's my, here's my thing about Anne Hathaway. I have liked her in one movie. One movie. And that was... Um, Enchanted. When she, no, when she was in Batman. Enchanted. That's Catwoman. You didn't like Get Smart? Okay, she was okay in Get Smart. <laughs> but, there we go. <laughs> you didn't like okay. Love and Other Drugs? But that brings me to another movie that was absolutely, <laughs> that just is so terrible in my mind. Um, is an Anne Hathaway movie. Oh, crap. Now I just forgot I what it was. Enchanted. And, and, it's and Wesley in it. Yeah. It was one of the first times that they had a, they had a, a gay character that I thought was done really well and was really funny mm. that it was in a time when 
you didn't see those as much outside of um back when you couldn't be proud well no outside of typecast level role oh, they yeah. all have a lisp and things like that yeah it was one of the first times that they use a character who's gay that didn't fit in the typecast role and that was really cool yeah and those are fun to find i i agree i think those are fun to find but there's a uh, another the anne hathaway movie that i really didn't like oceans eight um, that was one crap shoot of a movie so did, now that you bring up interest in, in when you bring up it. oceans i'm just gonna throw this out there real fast if we're talking about people that we really don't like um julia roberts I pretty much I can't I, I I don't think I've ever enjoyed a film that Julia Roberts has been in or enjoyed her as an actress. And I, it's really mean. I'm not trying to hate on her. She does really well, but I just for some reason I can't I can't. I, don't I love like wasn't that. it you were you weren't into speed. You weren't into speed? why you were sleeping. That's not Julia Roberts. Oh, sorry, not Julia. Uh, oh, now, this is Julia Roberts. I'm Julia okay. Roberts. Now, yeah, now, now, when you just brought that up, Sandra Bullock. 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 Fantastic. Sandra Bullock's yeah. like one of my top, top tier. Okay, Sandra Bullock's right. top tier. Yeah. Okay, so Julia, Julia Roberts, Roberts, I'm with you. Hook. Oh, Hook. That's Hook. a good one. Too. No, man. But even then, like just it. watching her, I was like, Oh, you could have gotten any other actress. <laughs> I, I probably so, maybe something happened in my childhood. Like I must have been eating so something you and it fell. You got burned my her. lap while I was watching the Julia Roberts film, and so after that, I've always hated her. I don't know because, frankly, like I said, she's been a good actress. I like, like her. I like she, her adaptation in Family Guy. She does seem to be a good actress. Can you name one movie reason, you actually like of hers? No, well. I liked Ocean's Eleven, but I didn't. But that was with Julie Roberts. But I didn't like her in there. Oh, uh, Julie Roberts was in Ocean's Eleven. That's what I said. I just didn't like her in there. About her, no. Um, uh, Pretty Woman. Let's go, Pretty Woman. Why not? (laughs) You like that one? (laughs) No. Okay, that's good too. So. Anyways, all right. Sorry. Worst action. I think she does a good mom. Yeah. So back back no, to Interstellar. Yeah, what I, what else was it? There? Ocean. What's oh. your rating? Yeah, let's, let's my my rating, rating for Inter- absolute zero. No, there's absolute zero. zero. Absolute zero. There's absolute value of zero. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Which is zero. Inverse zero. <laughs> Upside down zero. That's how bad it is. I am dividing by. I am zero. dividing by zero. It is, so, yeah, that's uh, how uh, crappy uh, it is. <laughs> so on H is zero. Does any has anybody else watched Interstellar other than me? No. So, no? John, it's no? up to you to, to okay, so, bring those numbers up. Um, from Interstellar, I've watched the movie twice. So it is not a favorite movie by, of, of mine by any means. Uh, I watched it with Marianne, and then twice. I watched it, um, I think, with family or something else. Like it was just something somebody threw on type thing. Rating-wise, honestly, I, I'd give it a uh, 5.3. It wasn't uh, anything fantastic. There was a lot of other space movies that came out prior to that were a lot better. There really were Mars and a bunch of others, right? So, John, do Red you have uh, do you have an Excel sheet open up? No, I don't. The Martian. The Martian. Yeah, like there was so many. The that was way better. I'm sorry. Yeah, because so because we can figure out whose movie is the least favorite of the group. Right now, Jakers is winning at zero. Um, the average of H's is uh, like 2.56. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, so. No, we can't do that because none of you guys have seen The Road. It's, and, that's, and that's too bad. I mean, that's too bad. <laughs> I mean, he's not going to win that. Well, that is, no, I have seen I win. Enough, um, uh, commercials or snippets, like four or five minute snippets of it. I have no desire to see it at all. My my so my least favorite movie can i go next is that all right yeah go for it uh i think my least favorite uh, yes um we were talking uh, my wife and i were talking about <laughs> movies from our childhood that we we're like oh that was a great movie right <laughs> what spurred this on um was we were at walmart passing the five dollar bin and i saw this isn't the movie on my list but I saw the Brave Little Toaster oh, that I was like, yeah. <laughs> Brave Little Toaster, that's amazing. Yeah. And so I was like, have you seen this? She's like, I've never seen it. I was like, we're buying it. We don't have kids, but we are buying it to watch it <laughs> right now. So like we left Walmart. Yeah, we shoot, you guys home. had only been married for like six months. Yeah, huh? like, oh we, my God. Yeah. Yeah. And so like we buy it, we go home, we put it in and we get to the first like 10 minutes probably. And I'm like, I have, n- this is, this is messed up stuff. I don't like this. <laughs> I completely ruined it. 
completely ruined. <laughs> <That's how I laughs> Things, yeah. things so, that I, were good as a kid to never watch again. So yeah, That's don't it. ever watch Brave Little Toaster. Keep those or, memories sacred. We bought it. Or the, we let our kids or watch it. It's fantastic. Or the still holds up. Oh my the gosh, Care Bears. I still the watch Care the Care Bears. We bought the movie. So then, the first and the second Care Bears. Dark. John, you're wearing dark. a Rav shirt. Yeah, oh my man. gosh, are you? Did you guys not see the back right. of my shirt? Here, just uh-uh. No. No way. What? Yes! yes! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> when did you get that, dude? Um, Marianne made it for me. It says D5 Questing on the back. It's got our logo big on it. Logo on big, big logo on the back. And it has his character name, Rav. On the side. Right on the side. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my That's gosh, incredible. That's awesome. Dude. Here, here's the other question. What if Rav dies? Burn the shirt. If Rav dies, uh, I'm going to take over Shambles, or uh, we'll have to see what Jake says <laughs> about uh, his sister. Yeah, but right. that, honestly, this is the first uh, one I've had this long, so I'm thrilled to wear the name. That's awesome, dude. That is. Awesome. Anyways, all right, all right. So, so, so then that's your word on. Uh, my wife was like, you know what? Uh, the movie that I love from my childhood. I wonder if it holds a uh, Dark Crystal, and I'd never <laughs> seen it before. <laughs> So, so I watched, I watched Dark it. Crystal, and I was like, "What is this?" <laughs> and it What's made me the name Dark made me super uncomfortable. Not for anything thematic, but I was like, well, "This is it's it's when something is almost natural, but it isn't. It makes you so uncomfortable." The way that they did the animations uh, or the makeup the or Muppets. it's yeah, it was just. But they weren't Muppets, you know what I mean? They were almost Muppets, but yeah, they, they were, were almost Jim people. Creations. But I understand. Yeah, but like they yeah. just they made they made me so uncomfortable and just like the <laughs> really. Uh, okay, so 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 everything were you, were you able to watch the whole thing. Aesthetically, I, I couldn't get I couldn't get past the aesthetic. Aesthetically, it made I, you you couldn't even. I I could I wow. I we turned it off because I couldn't I couldn't even finish really. It. It's like oh, it's like no. if you if you had put your hand oh. into something that you despise while watching it. <laughs> I guess that's interesting. <laughs> I don't think I've ever watched anything that I was like, I am uncomfortable. Well, that's so not here, true. But here's no. the thing. I could never watch The Dark Crystal, and that was why. Because aesthetically, it was not pleasing to my eye. I yeah. could not watch it. And yeah, that's the same name. That's the same. Dark. Right, but that's the <laughs> same reason why I couldn't watch the I couldn't watch the series that they produced. I couldn't get into that because like, of that. But like Labyrinth, which really? a lot of people are like, Labyrinth and Dark Crystal are on the same page. I'm a big fan of Labyrinth. I'm not. Do not like um, Labyrinth. I wouldn't put those two on the same page. So uh, just to say off your thing there. I would take um, the Dark Crystal and I would take Wizard of Oz 2 and put those on the same page. The same weird animations and everything else. That's right, that good, makes that's more sense. Actually, that's a good comparison. If I, if I could, real fast, just to throw in. No, you can't. The, oh, okay. <laughs> go ahead. Go, I'm kidding. No, uh, Wizard of Oz, the, the next one that they did actually followed the books way better than yeah. the first one because he always wrote the books, not necessarily to make kids uncomfortable, but the, it brings up uncomfortable truths around the world to uh, help. He basically wrote them in a way that uh, you would be able to interpret them. Uh, and so everything that actually was in that next Wizard of Oz actually followed the books yeah. a lot better. Yeah. Um, and that's why a lot of people were like, this is uncomfortable. I don't like this. What well, was meant to be. <laughs> the whole thing was meant to be uncomfortable. So, uh, so back fun to the fact. Dark Crystal. Does anybody, well, does anybody know how uh, he came up with the name Oz? No. I do. Hand up. Uh, yes, my, yes, thank you. Uh, uh, he was in his office and he looked across the room at the filing cabinet and he had A through N in one filing cabinet and then O through Z in the next one. And I, like, that's, that's, that's funny. Not, that's, that's not a, a joke. That's, that's, that's a good snippet right there. So, I hear anyways. I, don't, I wasn't so, there. But that's what uh, since we've been doing this with all... Uh, H, what were you saying? Uh, I was going to say, since we've been doing this with all the movies so far, Dark Crystal... Um, IMDb gave it 7.2, Rotten Tomatoes 79%, uh, Metacritic 66, and 81% of Google users like the Dark Crystal. Well, I got, well, now we got to look up Brave Little Toaster. <laughs> That's true, too. we got to look up Brave Little Toaster. Okay, so uh, continue well, on with, with Dark Crystal. What was your opinion? 
Dark Crystal for me, uh, rating for me would be a zero, not an absolute zero, but a zero. Um, for me, it just it just didn't. Uh, any movie that I don't finish is is going to be a zero for me because I I take a sense of pride in when I start a movie, I want to. I've made the investment this far. I'm going to finish that. I'm going to finish it, and in hopes that, like how Jake was saying with the road. Um, it's going to to develop into something better, you know. Um, <laughs> but like, I that is one of the very few movies that I just have not. Um, Fascinating. The only other one that I can think of right off is You, Me, and Dupree. So those are the only two movies that I can <laughs> right off that I that I just have not finished. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah. Okay, I got something in mind for that. Yeah. Anyways. So, uh, so for me, it's a zero. Uh, who else has seen it? Uh, Dark Crystal. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. seen it. Right. Uh, uh, my reading on the dark crystal i enjoyed it uh watched it in my childhood watched it again and as an adult um total rating for that one is i'd have to give it a 6.6 .6. a six a what a 6.6 6.6 .6. 6 .6. okay uh h i put a six on it i'd throw a six on it okay read never seen it I, i'm like you i can't watch it it's uh, for me personally I, it's not disturbing it's just i can't i don't enjoy the how it, it's just so puppet it's the like animatronics if I to go watch a, behind it yeah yeah if i but wanted to go Fred watch a Rock puppet Rock show i would go watch a puppet show but fraggle rock <laughs> I, even for right? fraggle, fraggle rock, rock was like, awesome even with so it being good. fraggle rock but, but like fraggle rock was fraggle rock that was for the kids show but like i couldn't get into dark crystal because i thought that in my opinion if the if it was a different if they made them more pleasing i guess to the eye like that's what it's, it's not aesthetically pleasing to my eye and so that's why i i never could watch it because it just seemed to i don't know lame it, it wasn't like, the pink it crystal it was better. the dark crystal so i understand it could have oh, been I'm better not. that's what i'm saying it could have been better with that and that's why i didn't watch it all right on that note shakers I thought the uh, storyline was actually interesting. I thought that's what it, I, I thought it could have gone somewhere. Um, I've never really been into puppetry except for maybe mm. the Muppet films, but I watched that. Never-ending story. Fire. Nope, yeah. I don't like never-ending story. Uh, really? Uh, that, oh, that was going to be one of my ones that went down. And like, betray <laughs> you! No. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, so I would I'd give it a six. I didn't dislike the film. I was just like, eh. Me. Okay, See, that's it. That's what it is. Yep. Um, so other notes, we were looking for the Brave Little Toaster ratings. Yeah. 7.3 IMDb, 77% Rotten Tomatoes, 4 out of 5 on Common Sense Media, and 91% of Google users. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I wonder how many of those are people remembering it and not watching it and then criticizing right? it. <laughs> post post uh, post episode, remind me and read to give you a uh, <laughs> a horrific retelling of the Brave Little Toaster from one of our cousins. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, who's up next? Read. Uh, read. Okay, one of my least favorite movies of all time is a chick flick, Letters to Juliet. Really? Be... Letters to Juliet. Amanda Seyfried, right? Amanda Seyfried. And, one, uh... I've, I've never enjoyed Amanda Seyfried, especially in her, in her role as Cosette. She was terrible for that. I did not like her as Cosette. She just can't sing. She's got it's full of vibrato the entire time, and it's like there is a time for vibrato, and then there's almost all of your, almost all everything that you're singing should not have been vibrato, and that it's like you go back to it, and I'm gonna shatter this for you, but you listen to her, everything's vibrato, oh, and it agree. shouldn't be, it shouldn't be. That's why I did not. That's why I think she was a terrible pick for that. Juliet is she not a thing. No, it's not. Okay, sorry. That's it that's a whole other thing. But yes, letters to Juliet. Absolutely do not like the movie. Um, it's I, I like the love story behind it. The the one with the with the grandma uh, actually finding the, the you know the guy who wrote the letters. That's great. I like that part. But the part I don't like is the overlying story of she's engaged. 
to this guy and they go on this they go on this honeymoon she invites he needs to go on he's trying to open a restaurant needs to go on vacation or needs to go on vacation to get himself some authentic recipes he's working he's going to go and get all this stuff to try and open this restaurant for his new business in france right no they go to italy that's right so he's trying to get all these authentic recipes yeah, they're trying to get authentic recipes. That's why they're going there. But then they have, they're have they not even married yet, but she invites herself along and be like, oh, it's going to be like a honeymoon before we get married. And that's what she thinks. And so they go out there and they don't spend any time together because it's like, no, I, like I'm going to be busy. You know this. Like we're not going to be able to do anything because I'm going to be trying, I'm going to be working out here trying to get this business going. And so then she goes off and falls in love with some other, with this other guy. But then, like she is the villain of this story. <laughs> they come back. Like, <laughs> they turn him into like this jerk. That he's this super to, jerk. Right? right, but he's not. Out of nowhere. He's working. He's and they, they turn him into like he's a workaholic and that he's this like he has no time for her at all. And I'm just like, no, he went there not for vacation. He went there for work. And and anyway, stated so, it at the beginning, right? Yeah, it, it was so very clear at the beginning. Yes, very clearly stated. This is about business. So yes. if you don't want to come, you don't have to. And then we can continue our enjoyment when I come back. Right. right? So then when she can, so when she goes out there, she goes out there and, and uh, I can't remember her, the whole it's entire self thing. But, there, there's a hand right. up. So she, Hold on, let me finish, Jacob. Let me finish. Wait, and then I'm, waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> okay. So then when they get, you know, when it, uh, when she goes back to New York with her fiancé at that point, she tells she tells him, okay, like he's setting up the restaurant. Everything's getting ready. He's almost ready to open this restaurant. And this is all spoilers here. And she goes in there and she says, well, I, I don't want to get married anymore. And he's like, and you can tell that Blind he time. is... Yeah, he's completely blindsided. blindsided by this. Has no idea this is coming. And he's like, "What the heck?" So, what makes him a great, it makes him like the hero of this story and like tragedy for him is this. He uh, he then like everyone's in the restaurant. He's trying to get all the stuff prepped. The first thing he does as soon as she says that, he gives her full attention and he says, "Everyone out! Everyone get out of the kitchen now! I need to talk to her." Like everyone out. He gave it full attention. He's there. He was committed to the relationship laser focus like he is there he's like what's going on what happened she's like well we basically went on a honeymoon and we didn't spend any time doing with each other i'm like are you kidding me no you didn't no you didn't <laughs> like, you're such i'm like you invited yourself well you like, did all... <laughs> and she did invite him she did invite herself and he was he was very eager to be like wow you want to be you want to be a part of my world and you want to be a part of this you know this journey that we're going on and so he like tries to take her to places and is like yeah like we're gonna go look at these truffles we're gonna go look at this cheese that's been aging for you know 100 years or whatever and like takes her and is like because he's so in tune with his palate and senses and things like that he's having this incredible experience being like yeah try i'll try this one oh oh no try this one try this one you know i'm like excited to have her be a part of his life but yeah yeah, I'd agree. He's the he's the hero. Of the but story. they they make it okay. If I can, then I'm questions. So then they make it come across though as him being like overbearing and like not reachable. Yeah, it, it's more it it, should, it portrays him as being like uh, so he's not picking up the cues. That this she's is something not that's happened, in, and unfortunately, in I, I believe and it's like he's the he's the jerk. Right, he's just a big jerk. I'm like no. So they wrote him as a as a normal, actual, sensible guy. That's trying to start a business. So, so here's what I wonder. And, and by the way, this is uh, oh well. First, first, do your stuff. Uh, let's get through this, right. and then if I could, I, I want to go on on something on but it and see what you guys. That's think. why. That's why I think it's terrible. But she ends up. She ends up marrying this other guy that has that she spent the entire vacation with, pretty much, and she marries him at the end of the. Uh, oh the my entire, gosh! Or gets engaged to him at the, by the end of it, and it's like all of the story. Don't take your fiance on vacation, or learn how to freaking. Uh, never mind. But that's what I, that's what I'm saying about it. It's like she was not. She wasn't committed to his to the relationship. She wasn't committed to him. She wasn't committed at all to like getting that started. And those those she, those darn Juliets were all like, oh yeah, no, yeah, you should totally dump him. He's not good for it you. Sounds like, it yeah. sounds like it's like justification to entitlement. One hundred percent. 
that's that's what I got. And that's that, review, that is one of the like ooh, for, for me that movie. That is all it is. That's why it's like that's why I that's why I think it's a terrible movie because the whole moral of the story is that. Okay. It's, uh, the would premise, the, it's, uh, I would give it a zero. It is not a good movie. <laughs> All right, do we got the ratings? Who's got ratings up for that one? H. I I haven't seen well, it. I, 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 IMDb but... ratings. Oh, oh, IMDb. Right, right. I, IMDb ratings um, are are very consistent, I guess, with reads. Six point five out of ten IMDb. Forty two percent Rotten Tomatoes. Fifty percent uh, Metacritic, and. <laughs> 93% of Google users liked it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Here's the so, problem. Is, is I, that's uh, 90% of those who, who did it, and it's like 10 reviews. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. How many people <laughs> actually... Put your review in Google right now and see what it does to, to the average. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so, we'll throw those down. We'll see what it does. Oh, <laughs> uh, did not. I, so I saw it. Um, I'd, give it I'd give it a five and a half, actually. Um, for me, it was... Uh, and, and I know I feel bad, Reed, because you were helping you were helping bring the Dark Crystal down. Um, That's true. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm bringing your movie up, but uh, it would, it'd be a five and a half for me. It was, um, and I think more it was for the situation that I watched it. And it was my wife picked it, and she was like, "Yeah, we should watch this chick flicky," and she loved it. So it was doing something for my wife that I think influences this decision uh, or this rating. Um, but I do think that it was uh, it was good enough that I might watch it one more time before I die. See, that, see I've watched it. Oh I've watched it a couple of times. The only reason I've watched it a couple of times is because of my wife, Brittany. She's the one. She was. That's the thing is, the first time I watched it was coming was like the very end of it, and then I've seen. Uh, but I've seen it all the way through too. But it was the very end of it, and I was like, "What the crap is this?" But I was like, "Predict." I was like, "This is probably going to happen. This is probably going to happen." Oh, this is gonna happen. And my and Brittany was like, Would you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, Would you just leave? <laughs> just like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I live in, I live in the same world of uh for the most part, especially things that my wife really likes on movie levels, she doesn't want to watch them with me. She wants to <laughs> she would love to actually enjoy that with me. But she knows I'm not going to. <laughs> because I'm just gonna sit there the whole time being like, What? Why? Because something like that, by the way. Towards the end, if I looked over and saw that they were having a good time, I would have to be like, "You think that that's okay? Like, <laughs> you you believe that behavior is okay? <laughs> like, because here's the catch, right? And I, I I hold true to this, by the way, like completely. Hey, if you're not gonna if you're not gonna work out with somebody, don't be with them, right? Like, if you can recognize that, oh, we don't mix, then go for do, get out, right? Like. So I'm with that. Like she shouldn't be with him. That's a clear message. They really should not have been together. Right, but it's not because of him. Right, that's the and, message that and I that's, hate. That's the worst part. What I'm seeing though, is the, the toughest thing about it is because I hate cheaters. Um, if you're gonna cheat, like dude, all you had to do was end it. What you want then is you wanted the frosting on your cake, you know? Like, and that wasn't an option, but you were thinking new things. Like that's not okay. But um. What it seems like, and, and, and we see this in a lot of movies and stuff, and this is what scares me about a lot of our media, and some of it's getting better, a lot of it's getting worse, actually, is the trope. Like, I believe there's tons of tropes that are not healthy. And one of those is this right here, where they build up this idea of what romance really is. And then the problem is, is people who watch this, you'll get emotionally connected. And then you're like, that was great. Was it, though? Was that but really healthy? Was that healthy? What happened like, there? That, well, that, that that of, yeah. It's well, that's what I said. It's entitlement. It's bad. It's really bad because it, it leads, and this is by the way, this is the Disney princess, uh, the princess uh uh um hypothesis basically of like where a girl will watch that and then say, Well, I I deserve to be treated like a princess. But here's the funny thing: most guys who you talk to who actually can communicate appropriately, right? And they don't believe like certain things have to happen, they're willing to do that. Like, that's not the issue. The issue is, though, your entitlement to the belief of what it should be. And then believing that when one thing goes wrong, that somehow it's just not meant to be. Like, that's crazy to me. That's insanity. Right. And that's right. not healthy. That What that also shows is, and what you even said, what's crazy, what's really wild is it's very clear they wrote the male character 
to come across as just disconnected and things like that, right? But what's crazy is in the process, they actually wrote a real male character. And and then they beat it down and said that that wasn't acceptable. Because even what he did, like what you said, he said, hold on, you're important to me. What you just brought up showed me that there's true flaws and I'm concerned. I want to show that I'm willing to, I want to fix it. Communicate with me. And then she probably just went like, it's just not nope sorry uh-uh i do you know i and do want like, to what jump the in frick? i do want to jump in like, and say i when when a breakup happens in a film that is is truly um uh even kiltered on both sides where it's like hey i don't think we should be together anymore and here's why and the other person's like yeah that makes that's sense legit. and i'm I, I, that makes sense, and, and I can and I can get on board with that, and so I'm fine with that. And, and it doesn't become this huge pivotal moment in the movie where it's like, no, come back, mm-hmm. you know. And and I, I had that thought. I wanted to point that out. I'm sorry. But... No, well, here's the same thing, and I guess this is maybe why. I but, became... Hold on, before before you get it, and before you get too far from that, I wanted just to talk, uh, hit on that. That's exactly what it is. You can tell that he is committed to the relationship. Because of what, how he reacts to when she says, this isn't working, us. And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, where is this coming from? Because his, then- his perception of the vacation was, we're having a great time bonding over, over <laughs> you're, you're coming into my life and you're taking a genuine interest in something that I have a passion for. Which she didn't at the point. She eventually just said, I'm going to go off on my own and, and go do, like, we didn't spend, yeah, we didn't spend any time together. But that's what it is, though. It's like, he he told her that's what it was going to be. Like, I'm going to be busy with this stuff. And you're What's welcome crazy, to come along. They, man, this is what bugs me. Well said. Really. Is that they, they well created said. it where they acted like that that was a problem. Right. But that's, but it's not. That's gonna. That's life. That's gonna. And that's that's why I think. That's why I give this film. I think, just a. And it's like you, the you chose behind a good it. one. Actually, you chose a, lot a good of, one because it's divisive. <laughs> like, well, a lot of people. A lot of people don't like. Don't understand that it's okay to like different things as a couple. You know, as, with your significant other, other, it's okay to not like the same thing. Well, and that doesn't make you in, incompatible. That's what, by the way, and that's, I was about to go down that road and then I realized, oh, we're on D5 Questing. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's right. Roll, we're, only we're, because we're D20. I was going to go deep down that route in the psychological aspect of everything. And then I realized, <laughs> oh, wait, we're still on a show that we're going to talk about games and movies in a fun you, way. And you do so, have a good point. That's why I stopped. John. Um, but. This being said, then what I want to go with, unless you had something, did you have something, John? Because well, here's, here's John's where I the think, last one. On no, 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 I'm just going to go on my to... movie. All right, do it. All right, um, I'm going to go with the recent one I watched, just because it's one of the fresher ones in my mind. There are very Avengers. few movies that, if they are horrible, that I will remember, because I either just stopped watching them, walked away, turned it off, whatever. Um, there's, I think, maybe three I watched all the way through. So th- this one is the top of them. I, I'll go into the other ones later if someone asks, but <sighs> Sonic the Hedgehog. New movie with Jim Carrey, and I can't remember the other guy's okay. name. I'm sorry. My, my kids have been wanting to watch it. We've watched it twice, three times now. Uh, after the first five minutes, I, I turn on my phone. I turn on the computer. I... I could not like it is above cringeworthy for me, right? There, there were a few things where I'd look up and I'm like, okay, that's not half bad. And then like three seconds after like watching, I'm like, nope, okay, can't watch it anymore. I'm sorry <laughs> that that movie <laughs> itself. Um, uh, Jim Carrey does a decent job in it, like he, you know, for what it is, right? But they portray the wrong actor. You know, Robotnik was someone fat. That that that's the whole thing. Uh, the CGI in it was horrible, just absolute outright wrong. Uh, the fact that he doesn't want to return home to save everything at the end, like why? That's the whole point of Sonic the Hedgehog and the cartoons and all the other stuff that they've done. All the games, everything is to save. So, oh my goodness. So yeah, I I had a conniption fit watching that movie. Um, the acting behind it too. Like I'm sorry. Uh, I can't remember the main actor's name. He plays the same character, the same thing in every movie. 
So I, yeah, I'm he, sorry. He was in. Was it? He was also in. Uh, what was it? The Easter Bunny one, where he yeah, was that like. One. And yeah. he's the same character. It, it's, it's the, the same, same character. character. It's a clone. Right. He's yep. just cloned You're himself. Exactly right. I'm sorry. You're exactly so right. Except for what do you the call only up difference there? is he's wearing. Yeah, show me your phone. Yeah. The, the yeah. difference. <laughs> <laughs> The, diff, the only the only show that he's actually different in is uh, Enchanted, or yeah, because he's, he plays, he's, the he plays, he plays the prince. Plays, yeah, but he still plays the same airhead type guy that doesn't want to pay attention to anything or what's going on in somebody else's life. I'm it's I'm sorry, it, it is such. Um, I don't know. We're not talking about Jim Carrey. Jim oh, Carrey. No, no. We're not talking about Jim Carrey. No. Yeah, I'm talking about this. Jim Carrey guy. is very versatile in, the, in his stuff. Don't worry. I don't think I, we're I talking love about his acting, Carrey. right? Oh, but who, anyways, who um, he, don't up. get me wrong. The actor himself, he does a lot of really good roles in other movies, but he has somewhere <laughs> he needs to read about what's going on. He needs to find source material. He needs to go through it and do some flipping research because I'm sorry. James it was Martin. so. Yeah, I so cringeworthy. <laughs> yeah, James you know, Marsden is his name. Yeah, because I don't um, think there's ever guy, been a, a video adaptation. Oh my gosh, it's that's, that's really yes. I just and I don't. Think I, I do like there are other movies that I really enjoyed the acting that he does and everything else. It's just this particular movie, Sonic the Hedgehog. I, I don't know if that's actually the entire name for it or not. The the newest one that they made came out. It is. Like, honestly, I cringed through it. I, I looked at the screen. I clenched my fist. I clenched my jaw. I'm like, oh, no. that, that mm-mm. Like, it, it was it was not enjoyable for me at all. The kids enjoyed it for what it was. They haven't seen a lot of the other Sonic the Hedgehog stuff, whatever. I, I, I couldn't even make it through it a few minutes, and I had to change my attention to something else. I'm sorry. All right. uh, I don't know what anybody You're else's opinion is on this. Yeah, let's see the ratings. Right. Right. Or I'll give my ratings on it first. My rating on that one, uh, I am going to give it a 0.7. Wow. Nice. That is high. That's the highest personal hatred movie rating. Yeah. All righty. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> uh, IMDb 6.5, 63% Rotten Tomatoes, 1.5 out of 5 on IndieWire, 90% of Google users. 47, 47 on Metascore, Metacritic. Metacritic, yeah. yeah. The thing that the thing that struck me the most when uh, when I saw the trailer and like the trailer the original trailer came out with Sonic having teeth and everybody's like Whoa. and his <laughs> eyes were all off. Yeah, yeah. 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 he's like cross-eyed um, the entire time. He, he yeah, reminded me it. of the kid in Jumanji when he tried to cheat and started turning into a monkey. <laughs> yes, that's good. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't like any of the Sonic games or anything like that. So for me, I, I, there's zero desire to see. It. I haven't seen it. I don't think there's been a good video game adaptation to movie. I don't think Hang there's on. been one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. No, that's garbage too. Well, what everything about the cartoon, cartoon movie? movie? What the it's first? Oh, one? Yeah, from, from cartoon, cartoon to movie. movie? That's but, but that's the thing, man. Is it was a cartoon before it was a video game, like Rocky and Bullwinkle. Gross. That was, that was pretty good. Seen it as a video game. I'm saying, I'm saying, video game to movie. No, oh. no. Uh, if we're going cartoon, I would say Dudley Do Right is one of the best. <laughs> is one of the better oh ones. I that's loved, right. Yeah, Dudley Do Right. I loved fantastic. Dudley Do Right, which yeah, is from I, the same universe. That's what I was thinking. Of. Which I is, wasn't thinking right. Yeah, it's it's from the same universe. All right. First off, what I do want to know is: is there any genre that you're just like no? That I, won't I don't like watching my wife's yeah. movies, or or like a set of a <laughs> set of recording a set of type two movies <laughs> that, that you don't want to watch. Um, anime. I just yeah, anime not a huge fan. Just, really, not a huge fan. Okay, I'll watch certain some, but... animes. Certain animes like light animes like Avatar: The Last Airbender. I love. Fantastic, certain, but those certain are, animes those that I enjoy. Uh, what about any of Studio are, Ghibli's? Yeah, Record of Lotus Wars is good. Um, but I can I I'm with I'm with you on that though. I'm I don't like it. I'm I can't watch an anime film. My wife loves Really? Anime. Like My Neighbor Totoro or something like that? Uh, Roscoe Pico? Well, Ghibli Ghibli's different to me that it it bridges the gap for a lot of people who didn't understand anime. I think a lot of Studio Ghibli films helped. But uh, that's I've interesting. Yeah. First, first three of Sword Art Online was good. The second third, One fourth. Punch Man? Hello? <laughs> 
No, nope. only the first. But, season. Uh, but this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that a film, an anime film, I can't just. I, I'm not. Uh, I don't get into that. I can watch anime series. Like I, I've, I've watched uh, Evangelical. I watched. Um, I okay. watched. Uh, um, okay, I got you. Um, what is his name? You got to give us more than that. I didn't watch One Piece. I know. I, what Dragon name? Ball Z. No, Full Metal Alchemist. Oh. I watched Full. Metal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you, you watch Dragon good Ball ones. Z. Those are good. Uh, Right, I've watched those. I can watch anime, but and I'm okay with it. But it's like, eh, I could watch. You're not into it. I'm not into yeah, it. Anime yeah. for me would, would be my least favorite genre. Okay, what else? What else you guys? I got? thought we were talking about films. I didn't. Uh, I, this no, was anything like, anything why all together. Shows? Okay, all right. Genre. Um, fantasy's pretty low. Horror. Horror for me. Mm. Now, I, I, I like suspenseful. I'll watch the suspenseful and the ones that like you know, the keep you on edge, that type stuff, but actual horror films yeah. like that are just so, not just you know, like the gore, the, um, the make you over sexuality in most horror, that type like, stuff. Yeah. The ones that just make you feel like at, at the end of the movie, you're like, uh, you feel yeah. dark. You feel, you feel dirty shadow. Yeah. You feel like, like a shadow horror. over you type thing. Mm-hmm. Horror. Yeah. <laughs> that type of stuff like but what I'm, uh, i can play it as a game i can play those as games but i tend to not to but that's overall because yeah, you can distance like yourself eh? right i can turn a light on and i'm good but uh, when you get enveloped in, into those things you then... turn a light on the theater people get mad what else what you got what you got john <laughs> uh john uh same thing uh anything uh overly dark i'm not interested in don't get me wrong. I've been through thrillers. I've been through horrors and everything else. I've, I've done my first year that I probably shouldn't have. Um, I don't get a kick out of them. Right? The entire Saw series. Whatever. You know, stuff like that. Um, right. But for, even above that, that like those... For the, yeah. oh, go ahead. Oh, since a movie that comes to my mind, like for horror-wise, something I, I just cannot watch or physically don't want to watch is like The Human Centipede. Yep. Cannot what? watch that. That's I what I hate is when you call that horror, and I think that that breaks it down into different. It does. It does. It does. So it's I'm with you. I'm with you. I understand. Body. Uh, that's why I said. Friend that watched that movie, and he he gave me a synopsis of it, and every time I think of that synopsis, man, it, cr- I cringe. See, and I didn't know anything. I about read it. it. I I read yeah. the synopsis. I read, I read the, read the synopsis. Yeah. I was like, oh my yeah. gosh, yeah, yeah, couldn't do it. And, like, oh, and that's what I've done with most of the movies like that. Somebody wanted to make it right. And yeah, that's probably the worst that's part about that. That's what gets me. Somebody thought of that. Somebody exactly. thought of that. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So, uh, yeah, those ones uh, those ones are on my I will never watch list. But the, I'm sorry, my wife's lovey-dovey uh, relationship, I want to do this with you type movies that, I'm sorry, that is 100% cringe. That's like watching Sonic the Hedgehog all over again. Those, <laughs> I can't. No, I really can't. Uh, I've tried to sit down and watch um, uh, Phantom of the Opera, right? I'm sorry. That's a big negatory for me. And I can't give it Is a it just musicals or just like that? Um, well, no. Uh, same thing as you guys said for that last movie for Phantom of the Opera with the whole cheating and everything else thing that she falls in love with some guy that ain't who... Yeah, that whole thing? No. Nah, so, not into it. You know, I had, I had a conception of what it was before I started watching it but i just cringe in those types of movies that that is not what uh my interest lies in you know i i, mm. I do prefer the action right. i prefer comedy family comedy um things like that over top of most everything else but yeah that's one i won't is that lovey-dovey um whatever you know okay. so i don't H. can't um I'm with Jacob. I can't really get into too much anime. Like, there's certain things that I can watch that I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. But for the most part, I can't. I, I can't go deep into anime. It's not not for me. And then I also agree with Reed that the the difference in the categories with horror. There's a couple of different things that I can't stand in a horror movie. Um, monster movies, I love them. Fantastic. Oh yeah, yeah. Monsters are great. Like Quiet Place. Fantastic movie. That's what's it. Suspenseful. Yeah. Those, those suspenseful ones. Yeah. All right. You did a but, but, no, you did. But, um, 
like satanic crap i can't get on board with it yeah. really it really makes me just not feel good at all and so i hate it can't and uh the, the dark <laughs> there, there all right. goes all of our satanic cultists come on <laughs> Sorry, darn sorry. Satanist. No, and that that and uh, human disfigurement movies where like they're just messing people up, like yeah. because that people actually hone into that sometimes, and that's when you end up with messed up, yeah, messed people. up people, yeah. right? Like, and, and yeah. so I did that, those kind of things. I just feel like the thing. Mm, it's no. like I watched I watched Jeepers Creepers, like Jeepers Creepers for me, like that was. That was freaky, and I didn't and like that movie. Was but then when like when they turned him into like some weird alien monster thing, I was like, oh okay. Well, yeah, in the second this, movie, I was like, okay, that's the, I'm not. I wasn't as as creeped out. But then like the beginning of it, before you know that he, he's like this monster, yeah. I'm like, this is stuff that could actually happen. Yeah, and it, it does. It's unknown. It, it, it works off of your fears. It really yeah. did, and that and, and that's what I don't like. It's the dis, dismembership, uh, dismembering the all that type stuff, and then when you find out that he's like some yeah. weird creature, you're like, wait, what the flip? <laughs> uh, it's uh, like that's a weird choice. Anyway, but, so for me, uh, here's it's interesting. I went through a phase where I think I was totally into some of those things. Like I'd watch Saw and stuff like that, and be like, yeah, this is pretty cool. I don't now. Um, where I realized <laughs> I it, care. and maybe that's because I went to war, I guess. But uh, I don't know. What's interesting is gratuitous violence for the sake of gratuitous violence, I don't like. Um, yes. But like watching the war movie, somebody's arm gets blown off and I see the gore of that. And I don't mind that. Ligaments hanging out, they're bleeding out. I, I'm okay. Yeah, I yeah, watched Saving Private Ryan. I watched Saving Private yeah. Ryan this, this week. I almost Hacks, watched that last saw Ridge. For the, yeah, for the sake of just being like, I'm just going to cut you up because cool violence, you know, like hostile, not down with it. Um, so I would agree with that on the horror level. Uh, I don't dig. Um, I would say I, I would have said musicals. I'm not really down for, but there are quite a few that I'll actually watch nowadays. Yeah, that's right. My so that's why I couldn't put that down. either. Um, uh, I who doesn't I put it like, like Dr. Horrible sing along blog. I saw. I Nazi. love Doctor Horrible. I single still have not seen it. Oh, it's so good! It's so anyway, good. Right. Anyway, Brandon right. Tangent. Thank <laughs> you, Hammer Man. No, I know. <laughs> so, um, we'll be kind of lighter for us to end the episode. I on. would say uh, rom coms. <laughs> generally, rom coms I hate. I hate them so much because they're based upon illogic premise almost every time. It's like, oh, hold on. If you would have just sat down for, I don't know, like five minutes five and minutes. actually had a discussion, then yeah. this movie wouldn't exist. <laughs> and that's, I hate them so much. There's nothing funny about relationship troubles. Nothing funny about, <laughs> and then I just broke into his house and it was, you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. or like, and then, and then I just came to his place of business and ruined everything for him. No, like, yeah, a lot of a lot of those movies have like borderline abuse in them, and it's really not cool. All the time, to- majority of them have some form of abuse, literally, or or shows that it's okay to have entitlement in a relationship that doesn't that shouldn't exist. Um, so that's actually, or what I really hate though, and I wouldn't put it to a genre, but illogical plot will drive me crazy. But go ahead. But what, what do you got? Or, or are you just grabbing me? There's a no. hand up, I say. Claw. I do have one, yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, we'll just end on, I wanted to end on this. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, we never actually finished it with everyone else's ratings <laughs> on this. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog, I liked Sonic the Hedgehog, but hear, hear me out on it. I think, no, Carrey, I think Jim Carrey had, put a good, did a good spin on Dr. Robotnik. Um, I did think that uh, the end of the movie, when he gets banished to whatever land that he's in, he actually gets fat. And they made him the fat, the, the big sh- fat gut guy that has like the long lanky legs. They made him into that at the end of the movie, and I thought it was right. But I think you're right. The, anim- like, the, the animation for Sonic, horrible. Like, yeah. 
overall, overall the story was like that, and it wasn't, but it was like more of an origin story type thing for Sonic the Hedgehog, and I think that's what they were trying to go for, but they botched it. They didn't do yeah. a good job. So I'm yeah. with you on that. But I did like the story. I did, I did like Jim Carrey. I liked how Jim Carrey did everything. I liked his portrayal. He was funny. He made the movie. He really did. Yes. In any case, uh, yeah. I would, I, I would I give it, I would give it a, a six point five. <laughs> really? All wow. right. Well, that well, brings it up to well. a three. So I think uh, the worst movie of the worst is uh, The Road, because nobody <laughs> yeah. else has seen it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the best yeah, movie yeah, of the yeah. worst is... Uh, Jake, you actually got my sympathy on that one. Well, Phil, it felt like a Sundance Film Festival project that somebody felt so proud of because they were trying to give it a message. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, tune in next week when we talk about our favorite films. Is uh, is it possible to have a 10 out of 10? We'll find out next week. One, oh, two, three. Or play some RPG. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh.